Okay, so these first eight discernible partials that that we hear within every note, you know, the overtones that we keep uh, hearing, but just you know, uh, hearing them cut in half, you know, bring them down to lower octaves so we can kind of line them up. Uh, those first eight notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, within the octave, uh, that is called a diatonic scale. In particular, that is the major scale. Okay, we hear we hear four more uh, overtones or partials uh, in Western music as well, and we bring them in, and we st instead of. Uh, uh, using some other kind of numbering sequence, we simply stick those numbers in in between our major scale. So let me just show you how this goes. So here's our original starting frequency, okay? So the first set of uh, uh, notes that we bring down, the diatonic scale, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 8. I also write it as a 1, meaning it's starting a new octave uh, vibration. I just put a line underneath it like that, meaning that we've just now jumped into the next higher octave. And then these whole this whole number sequence can just simply repeat again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just going in that, you know, higher up in that direction. And each one of those would have a line underneath it signifying that we went higher. Similar over here, I could start, you know, at one and go lower in this direction. So, and by the way, this is a convention. Higher goes this way, uh, lower goes goes in this direction. Okay, so uh, you know, so then I would have, you know, a one and then seven, but each one of these would have a line over on top of it, meaning that we've now dropped down to a lower octave. It's just a simple way of writing things. Indian musicians use a little dot. If I put a dot over to seven, that means that we just uh, uh, w uh, went into our upper upper octave. Okay? If I put a, a dot underneath the six, that means we dropped into a lower octave. It's just a very simple numbering conventions. So then we bring down four extra number, four extra notes. Okay, uh, you know mathematically they fit into a you know different a different area than our original eight notes. So our eight notes are called the diatonic scale. It's a which is what it means eight, and then that would be called the major scale. And then we stick in these other numbers here. This these twelve numbers all together. Uh, form what is called a chromatic scale. Chromatic, chromatic meaning many colors. Okay, and instead of like making up some new numbers like nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so we just we do something like this. Uh, we say sharp. Sharp means to go a little bit higher, uh, and flat, which is like a, written like a little b. Um, uh, means to go a little lower. So the note that goes in between the the one and the two of the major scale is either has two different names. It's known as a sharp one or a flat two. So it's got a little b and the number two, or it's got you know I think they call this hashtag now, a hashtag and a one meaning sharp one or a flat two. Then there's you know second note of our major scale, third note of our major scale, fourth note of our major scale. So we're over here we have a flat three or a sharp two. That uh, that note has uh, two different names. It depends on you know uh, what game we're playing musically, which name I I will use. Mostly in Western music, uh, you know, as contemporary modern Western music based on African American music or based on uh, uh, you know jazz or blues. Uh, most of the time, we would use the flat name for something. So you know, one flat two two, flat three three four. Flat five, five, flat six, six, flat seven, seven, and then our octave eight or a one with a line underneath it, meaning we're going to go higher, higher again, start the whole number sequence over, but it would all have little lines underneath it, meaning that we just went, jumped into another octave. Uh, by the way, anytime I hold up a little piece of paper like this and you want to understand, we used to use the word grog. 
from Kurt Vonnegut's uh, books. Uh, if you want to understand something, uh, just put this on pause and you know maybe scribble it down for yourself or uh, you know really try to understand what I'm talking about. Uh, these little uh, strong lines like that, since we're doing a guitar course, you can just think of them as frets. Okay, so we're just lining up our chromatic scale fret by fret, going up, and then we're going down like this.